Rock enclosed, Yamashita treasure signs. The Japanese, Imperial Army, didn't, all just bury, their, Yamashita treasures deep under the ground. They were also quite clever enough, to hide their precious war loots, inside huge rocks. You might be thinking, how they did it. The reason is that, the Japanese, Imperial Army, was in possession of unknown chemicals, that allows them to easily break rocks, calves, signs, and created holes, even on the hardest type of rocks around. One, of the most common, Yamashita treasure signs, that refer to a hidden treasure, inside a rock is the rock enclosed treasure. This rock enclosed treasure sign has a crescent shaped symbol. Most individuals would describe as a letter C sign, others describe as a half or crescent moon sign. So, what does it mean? It means that, the treasure is hidden inside a certain rock, but the problem is that, it does not tell you, which rock. Most amateurs, often end up, breaking the rock, where the sign is engraved. This is wrong, where, they will most likely find, nothing. In order to know, which rock contains the item, you need some additional signs, or markers around. By, analyzing them, they should pinpoint you, into the rock, that contains the deposit. What if the sign, has a dot at the center? A rock, enclosed treasure sign that has, a dot, especially at the center, has a much better meaning than the one that has none. It's because, the dot represents the treasure deposit. It is very similar to the previous video, that I have discussed, which is all about the X sign, with a dot on its side. Now, the dot located at the center of the rock enclosed treasure sign, is a confirmation, that the rock itself, is where the item is hidden. Thus, you need to break it apart. On some cases, the dot, of the rock enclosed treasure sign, is not, always at the center, where, it can be on any side. So what does it mean? Rock enclosed, treasure sign, with a dot, that is not, on the center, is often, found engraved on huge, or massive type of rocks. Such kind of rocks, will take you several months to break apart, especially through, manual methods. Thus, the purpose of the dot actually gives you, the hint, on which portion, or corner of the rock, that you only need to break. Let's have some illustration. Let's say that, this is the rock, on its top viewing angle, with a dot on the left side. The rock enclosed treasure sign, is the representation of the rock. Try to imagine it, as the entire rock itself. 
As you can see, I have divided the rock into four quadrants. This, now makes it easier, to locate which spot to break. As a result, the encircled portion of the rock on its left side, is the part that needs to be broken. When it comes to breaking rocks, it is highly suggested not to use explosives, because these will have the tendency for the items, to be scattered around. We already had experienced this, and lost many of the items, when they were blown, on far random distances. Another, common question, that is often asked by amateur treasure hunters, about rock enclosed treasure sign is, what specific type, of items, is hidden inside the rock? Unfortunately, rock enclosed treasure sign does not tell, what types of treasures, are contained by the rock. But in most cases, rock enclosed treasure deposits, can be precious jewelries, or diamonds, gold bars, and old coins. Here's the most interesting rumor, that I ever heard from a fellow treasure hunter, about rock enclosed treasure deposits. He claims that, there is this one huge massive rock, that perfectly bears the shape of an egg. Inside this rock, the Japanese, Imperial Army, had hidden the largest diamond in the world, that has not yet been recorded. It is said that, the value of this precious diamond, can make the Philippines, as the richest country in the world. The problem is that, no one knows, where to find, this large egg-shaped rock. The only clue, left behind by the Japanese, Imperial Army, which is aside from the shape is that, this egg-shaped rock, is perfectly resting, on a well-arranged set of rocks, right at the bottom. If you found such type of rock, then don't forget to message me, because, I would like to take part of it. Moreover, rock enclosed treasure deposits, are the primary targets by many treasure hunters, it's because, they are a lot easier, to recover, as compared to those treasures, that are buried several feet deep under the ground. Anyway, if you have any questions, with regards to this topic, then feel free to ask them, on the comment form below. Moreover, have you enjoyed watching this video? If your answer is yes, and, you are new to my channel, then you may want to subscribe, and, hit the like button. You, are also free to share to your friends, or, to someone, who may find it helpful. If you prefer, a reading material, about treasure hunting, then, I recommend visiting my blogging website at, treasurehunt.club. Thank you very much for watching, and, happy treasure hunting.